Getting our music put on up here. Less than a minute to go. All right, my friends, that is 9 a.m. Let's get started with our workout. My friends here at the gym, give me that small lap. My friends at home, if you are not running, you will follow Coach Jen. Got those butt kickers. Good, get those heels all the way up to that booty. If you do have room to one, you got about one minute. Okay, <laughs> keep up with those high knees. I mean, switch it over to high knees or maybe jumping jacks. Coach just need to take a quick break. Just switch between those butt kickers. Hi, how you doing? Huh? We're just waiting on our friends to get back from that small lap. Keep doing those butt kickers and maybe those jumping jacks, changing it up just a little bit. Waiting in those butt kickers. And those jumping jacks, here they come. All right, when you get back to your mat, give me some windmills. Windmills, so you're reaching for that opposite toe. Big stretch as you open up that chest. Good. Few more, keep going. Good. Nice big stretch. All right, let's take it into those high knees, high knees. <laughs> Bring those knees all the way up to that belly button. You can step it out. You can hop it out. My name is Coach Karen. I am here at Kaya Fit and Laguna. Coach Jen is your fitness model today. So keep an eye on her for modifications and um, demonstrations of the exercises. All right, give me that sumo squat and reach. Nice wide stance. Reach down and come up on those toes. Taking it nice and easy. We're still warming up. Good. Nice and deep. Hey, Lynn, good morning. All right, let's take it to those butt kickers. Butt kickers, you're stepping it out or you're hopping it out if you're feeling warm. Get those heels all the way up. Maybe pump those arms. Good. A few more. All right, let's take it down to our mat for some sit-ups. So you can come all the way up, big exhale, or you can do those crunches, just bringing your shoulders up off the mat, crunching those abs. Nice and easy. Few more. All right, stay on your mat and give me those bicycles. Nice and easy. Take that elbow to that opposite knee. 
Go at your own pace. You can do that power bicycle. If you're feeling warm. All right, let's take it back up to our feet and give me that inchworm. So you're gonna walk it out, hold in that plank and then walk it back. If you're not walking it out, you can give me those monster kicks. Keeping those arms above your head and reaching for those toes and that monster kick. Nice, Danielle. Doing great, Tim. Good, Jennifer. Nice job, Diana. All right, let's give me those high knees one more time. High knees. Both of those knees one more time, really nice and quick. All right, let's take it to that good morning. Good morning, reaching for those toes. Hinge that booty back towards that wall behind you. Big reach. And let's take it back to those butt kickers. Butt kickers. Again, add that little speed this second time around. Few more. All right, give me that sumo squat and reach. Pushing out those knees towards those pinky toes, coming up on those toes. Good. Few more. You guys are doing great. All right, take it down your mat for those sit-ups. One more time. Big exhale as you come up. Good job, last few seconds. That is time, my friends at the gym, give me that small lap one more time, small lap. Friends at home, we got those fast feet. Maybe pump those arms and then move to those jumping jacks, 10 fast feet, two jumping jacks. You can make them power jacks. Good. Keep moving. We can get right into our workout. Today's workout is called Workout Wonder. If you've jumped on just a little, just right now, you're going to need a kettlebell, a couple sets of dumbbells, maybe a medium set and a light set, a jump rope, and a long resistance band. You can also keep a loop band handy if you want to pull it out for certain exercises. Totally optional and up to you. Keep moving. Nice, Jennifer. Looking good, Tim. Here they come. <laughs> They're coming. All right, my friends, go ahead and shake it out. Maybe grab that quick drink. Our first round is coach led. So we'll be repeating two exercises for time. So here at the gym, we're gonna start with those two line runs. My friends at the gym, you will be doing, at home, you'll be doing 100 jump rope singles, and then you will move into 12 bicep curl and press. So my friends here, you're gonna give me those line runs, 12 bicep curl and press, then you'll go back for one line run, 
bicep curl and press. My friends at home, you'll just keep repeating those bicep curls and those jump ropes. All right, we're starting in three, two, one. Let's go. If you do not have that jump rope, you can use that imaginary jump rope. Maybe grab some light dumbbells. Good. You're in that line run. Make sure you keep that chest up as you touch the ground. Give me those jump ropes, friends at home. Looking good. Nice, Diana. Good job, Jennifer. You're doing great, Danielle. <laughs> that was me this morning. <laughs> <laughs> After those line runs and that jump rope, you're giving me 12 bicep curl and press. Keeping those elbows nice and close to the body. Big exhale as you take those weights up over your head. Just 12 reps and then get back to those jump ropes. Doing great, friends at the gym. Keep moving. Starting our work off, off with the bang. Nice. Now you got those 12 bicep curl and press. My friend's coming in from that line run. Twelve bicep curl and press, and then you'll take it back for one line run. Keep going, you guys. You're doing great. Twelve bicep curl and press. Then you're back on that jump rope, friends at home. And my friends at the gym, you're back on one line run after your 12 bicep curl and press. Keep repeating those two. Nice job. Nice and quick in those jump ropes. Get that heart rate moving. We got this, Lynn. Doing great, Angela. Just one line run that second time around. More than halfway done. Keep moving. Nice, Janice. Good. Don't lean back as you bring those weights up. Make sure you're embracing that core. Good. Nice deep breath. Good job, you guys. Doing great. Keep moving. How are we doing, friends at home? Stay with me. You got this. Nice, back to that bicep curl and press. Nice, Sandra. You guys are doing so good, keep going. One more minute, stay with me, one more minute, keep it moving. Work those jump ropes. Nice, Jennifer. Great job, Diana. And good, Tim. Nice, Danielle. Keep working hard. Thirty seconds left. Thirty seconds. You can keep with that bicep curl and press, or knees, or whatever. We've got a little bit of time left. Stay with me. Last 10 seconds. That is time. All right, good job, you guys. Shake that out. We got two new exercises. So we have walking lunges, 24 walking lunges. So that's 12 on one side on the other. So you're walking those forward. 
if that forward lunge is an issue, you can just do those stationary back lunges. Feel free to add a weight. And then we have bent over rows. 12 on one side, 12 on the other. If you have equal weighted weights, you can do them both at the same time. So 24 locking, walking lunges, bent over rows, 12 on one side, 12 on the other, and we are moving. Good. Nice job, you guys. Feel free to explore your space with those lunges. Keep that chest up as you drop that back knee. Push up off that front leg as you come up. Don't lean forward. Make sure your chest is up. Shoulders are back and down. Nice. 24. 24 walking lunges and then 12 bent over rows on each side. Looking good, you guys. Nice. All my friends on Zoom looking strong. Come on, friends at home. Stay with me. Nice, Anne. Good, Leslie. That bent over row. Keep that elbow nice and close to that rib cage. Square those shoulders. Square those hips. Don't open up as you bring that weight up. Again, if you have two equal weights, go ahead and do them at the same time. Otherwise, it's 12 on the right, 12 on the left. Looking strong, Jennifer. Nice, Tim. Good job, Diana. Doing great, Danielle. Looking strong, Sandra. Good, Janice. Keep those shoulders squared. Do not open up as you pull that weight up in that row. Then you're back to those walking lunges, 24. Two more minutes, two minutes. Good job, you guys. Watch your equipment if you're moving around. Nice job. Good job, Angela. Doing great, Lynn. Keep moving, you guys. Good. Nice, Jennifer. Looking strong, Danielle. Good job, Dan Diane. Good, Tim. Keep moving, you guys. Back to those bent over rows. Focus on that form. Keep those abs tucked in and everything squared. 60 seconds. One more minute to go. Thirty more seconds, thirty seconds, get even on those rows. Come on, friends at home, we got this. Keep moving. Looking great, Diana. You're doing great, Danielle. Nice, Tim. Looking strong, Jennifer. You guys keep it going. 10 more seconds, 10 seconds. All right, that is time. That's time. Shake it out. Two new exercises. Got 24 kettlebell swings. Coach Jen's favorite, as you can see, she's got that little smile on her face. Little hip hinge, thrust that weight forward with those hips. Your modification is that sumo squat to high row, 24 reps. Then we have six Turkish get-ups. So watch Coach Jen. 
You're gonna grab your weight, the same side of that bent leg, come up on that arm, then the, up on that hand, and then back down. All the way up. Your modification is a plank knee tap. So you're in that nice strong plank, tapping those knees, 12 on each side. All right, 24 kettlebell swings, six of those Turkish get ups, three on one side, three on the other, or you're giving me those plank knee taps, 12 on each side, and let's go. Nice and strong. Nice, Sandra. Good, Lynn. Okay, remember in that swing, it is a little hip hinge. You're not squatting. And then you're thrusting that weight forward with those hips. You can keep those elbows nice and close to the body if that helps you. It is not an arm exercise. So they're just along for the ride. Good. Nice. Looking strong, you guys. And then you're down on your mat for those six Turkish get ups. Coming up on that forearm, then up on that hand, push all the way up, back down. You can add that weight or no weight at all. Three on one side, three on the other. Otherwise, you're doing those plank knee taps. 12 taps on each side, so 24 total. Good, nice and good job, Leslie. You guys are doing great. I know these get ups are a little challenging, but you can do it. Nice, Jennifer. Great job, Tim. Looking good, Diana. You got this, Danielle. Then back to those kettlebell swings. If you are feeling strong, you can come all the way up on those feet. Just take that leg that's out in front underneath and then push up. Great. 24 of those kettlebell swings or that sumo squat high row. And then six Turkish get ups. Or 24 plank knee taps. You guys got this, you're doing amazing. More than halfway done, stay with me, you can do this. Good, Angela. Nice, Sandra. Good job, you got it. Try to keep that hand all the way up. Don't bend that raised arm and that get up, keep it up. Drop that weight if you need to. How we doing friends at home? Looking good. Nice, Jennifer, looking strong, Tim. Good, Danielle, nice, Diana. One more minute, 60 seconds, you got this. Nice job. Everyone's doing great. Nice, Leslie. You're in that plank. Getting towards the end. Keep that strong plank. Less than 30 seconds. Ten seconds. That is time. That's time. Great job, you guys. We got one more set in this round. So grab those dumbbells. We got that dumbbell push press. So put those dumbbell bells above those shoulders, a little bend in those knees, and then thrust that weight forward as you come up. Think of it more of a cardio move than a strength move. You can also just do that straight overhead shoulder press. 12 reps. 
And then we got 12 goblet squats. So those goblet squats, you wanna break that 90 degrees to get nice and low. Feel free to drop that weight. It's better to get nice and low than to have that heavy weight. All right, 12 and 12. 12 push presses, 12 goblet squats. Let's go. Good. Nice, perfect, you guys. It's just a little spin in those knees, not a deep squat, and then you're thrusting that weight up overhead. Good. Nice, Coach Jen. Looking good, Lynn. Good, Diana. Nice, Danielle. You got this, Tim. Doing great, Jennifer. Just 12 reps each this time. Nice and deep in that goblet squat. Good. Nice, Ann. Great job, Leslie. Keep that chest up and face is eyes are forward in that goblet squat. Weight is in your heels. That push press, make sure you're not leaning back as you bring those weights up. Good, Angela. Good. Try not to come up on those toes as you come up in that push press. Keep those heels firmly on your mat. Keep going, friends at home. You got this. You're doing amazing. Looking good, Diana. Great job, Jennifer. Looking strong, Tim. Danielle, you guys are doing amazing. Keep going. Good job, Lynn. Focus on that form. Slow it down if you need to. <clears throat> Less than two minutes to go. Less than two minutes. Good job, you guys got this. Keep moving. You're looking great. Come on, friends at home, stay with me. We got one more minute. Nice, Janice. 12 reps each. Good, Sandra. Guys are doing great, amazing job. Make sure you're breathing, keeping that weight in those heels and that goblet squat, taking it nice and low, dropping below that 90 degrees. Good. Thirty seconds. Thirty more seconds. Stay with me. You can do this. Last ten seconds. All right, that is time, that is time. Wipe off, grab that drink of water. We're gonna move right into round two, coach led. Everything is for time, so there is no counting. We're gonna start off with that side shuffle volleyball block. So if you have that loop band handy, feel free to add it. So get down nice and low, side to side, come up on those toes or a nice big hop with those arms up overhead. Side shuffle volleyball blocks and let's go. 
Good. Again, you can take the impact out of it by just coming up on those toes. If you have that band, keep that tension in that band nice and low. Good. Looking good, Jennifer. Nice job, Danielle. Keep moving, Diana. You got this, Tim. You guys are doing so good, friends at home. Keep it going. Keep. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Ten more seconds, ten more seconds. Give me a few more reps. You got this. That is time. All right, you can remove that band. We got those mountain climbers. So you're down in that nice strong plank. Bringing those feet outside towards those hands. You can also do this standing but we're doing it for time. All right, standing or plank mountain climbers, let's go. Good. You can step it out or you can add that speed. Nice, Lynn. Good job, Angela. Good, Janice. Nice and strong, you guys. We're here for some time, so keep it moving. Good job, Jennifer. Nice, Diana. Looking good, Tim. You got this, Danielle. All my friends at home, let's drive those knees. Stretch out those shoulders and then get right back to it. 10 more seconds. That is time. All right, come up to your feet. We got squat hops on deck. So that's that side, center side. You're coming up on those toes or you're giving me that hop. So squat hop and let's go. Side, center side. Good. Great job, everyone. Keep moving. We're only here for a few more seconds. Give me 15 more seconds. Last five. That is time. That is time. All right, my friend, we are in bear crawls. So feel free to add that loop band for a little more resistance and challenge, keeping that booty up nice and high, everything straightened out. Your modification is that monster walk. So grab that resistance band or that loop band, side to side, keeping that tension in that band the entire time. All right, bear crawls or monster walks, let's go. Good. You're in that mantra walk, keep that tension in that band. You should barely be able to move. Working those side booty, you got this. Nice, Tim. Great job, Danielle. Doing good, Diana, looking strong, Jennifer. Back and forth, the length of your mat. Good, Lynn. Guys are, look amazing. Good job, Angela. 10 more seconds. That is time. All right, remove that band if you have it. We're taking it down to our mat for that boat hold with a chest press. So you can float those feet, you can stack them, you can rest them on that mat, but get those abs involved and then push that weight forward like kettlebell, maybe a dumbbell, or you can just use 
Your body weight. All right. <laughs> and go. Make sure you got those abs working. Good. You guys look amazing. Everybody at the gym floating those feet looking good. How we doing friends at home? Nice. Looking strong, Jennifer. You got this, Danielle. Doing great, Diana. Good, Tim. Stay with me, you guys. We're getting there. Just breathe through it. Breathe through it. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. You can do anything for ten seconds. That is time. That's time. Shake it out. Catch your breath. Flipping it over for that plank up down to one plank jack. Spin that plank up down. You can be on those knees or on those toes. Down on that forearm and then replacing that elbow with those hands and into that jack. Or you can just hold that plank. We're here for 30 seconds. And let's go. You're holding in that plank, push those heels back. Those hips go forward. Look up to the top of your mat. Don't tuck that chin. Glad you guys. Plank up down to plank jack or you're holding in that plank. Nice strong plank. Stay with me. That is time, that's time. Good job, you guys, up on your feet, shake it out. We have broad jumps. Feel free to add that resistance band. Nice big hop, or you're doing that squat, step, step. Broad jumps for time, and let's go. Good. Remember, think light, and you'll land light on your feet in those broad jumps. Otherwise, you're doing that hop, do that step, squat, step, step. Good. You have that band. Push out to that band. Keep that tension going. Good job, friends at home. Looking strong. Nice, Jennifer. Great job, Diana. Got this, Tim. <laughs> I know. <laughs> She's got that good distance, yep. Good job, you guys. Nice, Angela, good job. 10 more seconds, you guys, 10 more seconds. <laughs> Last couple seconds here. All right, that is time, that's time. Okay, we're going back down on our mat. We got a high low boat to a kayaker. So you're back down in that boat position. Again, floating those feet, stacking those feet. As you come up to that high boat, then you're turning into that kayaker. You can just stick with those kayakers if that works better for you. We are moving. High boat, low boat to a kayaker, or you're doing those kayakers. You got this. Nice and strong. Do not forget to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Good job. Side to side. Nice. Good job, Sandra. You got this, Lynn. Doing great, Janice. Ten more seconds. All right, that is time. Last one in this round. Up on your feet. Everybody's favorite burpees. 
So taking up your hands down to that mat, hop or step back. Take it all the way down, back up, hop or step back in, and a big clap at the top. Modification, you're gonna give me two thigh busters to a power jack. All right, and we're going. It's only 30 seconds. You guys got this. Let's finish strong. Good. Stay with me. 10 more seconds. Get one more in. Maybe two. All right, my friends, that is time. Woo, catch that breath. Grab that drink of water. Got a lot of funny faces here at the gym. I hope you're sweating at home. We're back to a coach led round. Two exercises for time. We're gonna start with those 20 tricep extensions. So you can use that band. You can use that light kettlebell, dumbbells, those arms overhead. Keep those biceps close to those ears. Squeeze those triceps as you bring that weight up. All right. And then the second one is a squat thrust light. Yes, I know you just did burpees, but this is, at least there's no one all the way down. Just hop or step out, hop or step back. Modification is that in and out squat. Squat and narrow, squat and wide. All right, you guys, let's go. 20 tricep extensions, 10 squat thrust fights. Let's go. Oh, you're giving me those in and out squats. If taking that arm overhead is a problem, you can always do those kickbacks. Just keep those elbows up nice and high. Squeeze those triceps as you extend those arms back. Nice land, good job. Good. So 20 of those extensions or kickbacks, 10 of those squat thrust lights or in and out squat. Keep repeating those two until I call time. Nice job, Tim. Looking good, Jennifer. Keep moving, Danielle. You got this, Diana. Good. Nice big hop. Clap at the top of that squat thrust light. Or you're giving me those in and out squats. Squat and narrow, squat and wide. 10 reps. And then you're back to those tricep extensions or kickbacks. going you guys you're doing great nice you're in that kickback. You're keeping those elbows up nice and high as you extend those arms behind you. You're in that extension. Keep those biceps close to those ears. Squeeze those triceps as you bring that weight up. Less than a minute to go. Keep going, you guys. You can do this. Thirty seconds. Looking good, Leslie. Nice and last ten seconds. All right, that is time. That's time. Shake out those arms. 
Grab that resistance band. We're doing those resistance band pull aparts, but we're in that sumo squat hold. So that nice wide stance. And then squeezing those shoulder blades as you're pulling that band. Keep that tension in that band. And then we have 20 bicep push ups. I'm sorry, 10. Thanks, Jen. She's like, no, I'm not doing 20 today. <laughs> 10 tricep push ups. Or you can give me that skull crusher. You can flip it over. Keep those biceps nice and steady, only hinging at those elbows. All right, 20 pull apart in that sumo squat, 10 tricep push ups or skull crushers, and we're moving. Good. Keep that tension in that band. Nice strong wrist and squeeze those shoulder blades. Good. Nice. That nice swim of stance. You have to hop off early. Make sure you are doing your stretches while your muscles are warm. Good. 20 pull apart, then 10 tricep push ups or 10 skull crushers. Good. Good. And that tricep push up, keep those elbows nice and close to the body. You're shooting them straight back as you go down. Big exhale as you come up. You can also use that loop band around those forearms for a little extra support if you need it. And that skull crusher, if you're in that bridge, keep those hips up all the way the entire time. Or you can rest your back on your mat, keeping that lower back slammed and flat. One more minute, 60 seconds. Stay with me, you guys. Looking good, Diana. Got this, Danielle. Great job, Tim. Doing good, Jennifer. You guys are doing amazing. Stay with me. Less than 30 seconds. Good. Stay with me. Keep going, you guys. Come on, friends at home. 10 more seconds. 10 seconds. All right. That is time. That's time. Shake it out, get up on your feet. We've got 20 oil drillers, 10 on the right, 10 on the left. So make sure those hips and shoulders stay squared. You can also kickstand that foot if that balance is an issue. 20 reps and then 10 dumbbell O raises. <laughs> those palms face out the entire time. So 20 oil drillers, 10 on the right, 10 on the left, and then 10 dumbbell oil raises. All right, let's go. Taking those arms overhead as an issue, you can just give me that lateral raise. Nice job. Feel free to hold on to that wall or pull or tear or whatever you need to in that oil driller if you need a little extra help with that balance but keep those hips square don't open up as you bring that foot back flex that back foot little bend in that standing leg Good. Let's do that one more time. Now go. So you're doing this. You're doing this. Then just go down as far as you can. You want to just keep those hips forward. 
I mean, keep those. Yeah, there you go. You don't have to. Nope. Yeah. It's better to do that. That way you're getting good. Perfect. Very good. Nice, Janice. Nice. Deep breaths in those old raises. Good. You can point that toe inward and that oil driller that will help you keep those hips facing forward and down. Because you don't want to open up as you bring that leg up. Good. That O raise, those palms are facing forward the entire time. Less than a minute to go. Last 10 seconds. That is time, that's time. All right, we got 20 kettlebell skaters coming up next. So grab that weight, drop that back knee behind you, keep that chest up. You can take it to that back lunge if going across is a little bit of a problem. And then we got 10 surrenders. So you're stepping back and then stepping forward or that surrender squat, add that weight if you can. All right, 20 skaters, 10 surrenders, let's go. Good job. Nice, Tim, good job. Danielle, you're doing great, Diana. Stay with me, you guys. We're almost done with our workout. Good. Nice, deliberate movement. Those 20 skaters, and then give me 10 surrenders or those 10 surrender squats. Good, you guys are doing great. Stay with me. Just about a minute to go. Get a few more reps in. You can do this. Stay with me, friends at home. Doing great, doing great. Take those deep breaths. Last ten seconds. That is time. All right, we're gonna get these last two in really quick. Give me 20 tricep kickbacks. And then 10 squat and toss or squat and reach. And we're moving. 20 tricep kickbacks, 10 squat and toss or squat and reach. This is it. If you 
already did that kickback. I mean, you can do that skull crusher. You can do a tricep dip. Lots of options. Last two minutes of our workout. You guys got this. And that kickback, keep those elbows up. Squeeze those triceps as you extend that arm behind you. Squat and toss or squat and reach. Believe it or not, one more minute to go. We're almost done. This is the home stretch. Keep moving. Don't stop now. You're almost there. Stay with me, Danielle. You got this, Diana. You got Tim. Keep moving, Jennifer. All my friends at home, my friends at the gym, you guys have done an amazing job today. We are almost completely finished. Ready for that cool down. Stay with me. Ten more seconds. That is time. Great job, everybody. You are done. Woo! Friends of the gym, if you want to take a victory lap, feel free. Otherwise, we're going to stretch it all out. Follow Coach Jen. Woo, catch your breath. That was a good one, right? Great job, my friends online. You did so good. All right, take it back on that mat. That quad stretch, lean back. Our fit tip this week, that we are in our brick prep week. So you want to set yourself up for a successful brick. You want to attend your orientation. My friends on Zoom, please check with your local gym to make sure what time and what place your orientation is. My local friends here at Elk Grove and Laguna, we are meeting at 7.30 a.m. at the Elk Grove gym for our brick orientation and open house. It's going to be tons of fun, giveaways, Coach Nikki, mini workouts, workshops, and of course, all the information that you need for Brick. So be thinking about your goals, book your classes, go ahead and put them in the app. Turn to your neighbor, ask them to be your accountability partner. We want you to have the most successful Brick ever. Keep following Coach Jen. Those nutrition, your nutrition chip, you want to commit to making changes for brick. So go through that cookbook and think about what you want to eat, what you're going to need to prep. So you have everything already ready and you're not tempted to go grab that junk food or grab those chips out of the, out of the cabinet. Start thinking now of those nutrition goals that you want to meet for brick. Keep moving, keep breathing through as you're stretching. My friends here at Laguna and Elk Grove, there is no power hour this Saturday because we'll be doing our brick orientation. And my friends on Zoom, new Zoom codes start on Monday the 13th. So please check with your local gym to make sure you have the right code so you do not miss a workout. Keep stretching. It is supposed to cool down today. Thank you. But keep drinking all the water. Get that extra movement in. Maybe take a little walk. Do a little desk exercise. Keep moving throughout your day. Good, nice deep stretches. Hi, right, Leslie, have a good one. Make sure you're breathing the entire time. Nice deep breath.
All right, my friends, keep stretching if you need to. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Have a fantastic day, and we will see you next time. Bye. Thanks.